Welcome to Munich and to Electronica 2014, the world's leading trade fair for electronic systems, components, and applications. Over the next four days, more than 2,700 exhibitors from more than 50 countries will be showing you all of their latest products and innovations. ETV will be taking a look at all of the trade fair highlights and, of course, at the present and the future of the sector. Today's edition will focus on embedded solutions. We'll be making the invisible visible. Integrated into a wide variety of applications, embedded systems are everywhere, in everyday solutions, in industry, and in medical technology. I'm standing here at IMM Holding, where we're going to see firsthand how embedded systems are integrated into sports medicine. Ms. Gruber, can you tell me what are we looking at here? So, the T-Wall is an interactive sports device which uses light impulses to generate motion sequences. You have a self-contained target face which uses embroidered sensors in a glass fiber reinforced plastic. The wall is used in the health and rehab sector, so patients and athletes can train reactions, coordination and mobility in a playful way. And fitness is improved. <laughs> okay, I think I have the idea. And now we're going to take a look at how some other companies integrate embedded solutions into their medical technologies. Every year about 50 million people worldwide receive artificial respiration during surgery or in intensive care. Every time this is a risk for the patient because the ventilation can harm the fragile lung tissue. The sensor belt from Freudenberg and NMEC now offers a window into the human lung. Thanks to the flexible circuit boards with 32 sensors, monitoring is possible in real time. So alternating currents flow through the patient's body and produce voltages that a computer processes into images of the breathing lungs. The sensor belt is already in use in European hospitals and has proven itself in praxis. It can save lives. The health sector features a lot of examples showcasing the increasing combination of electronic products and services. The Internet of Things is the catchphrase describing this industrial revolution. However, there are also risks associated with such developments. At this year's CEO Roundtable, industry leaders gather to discuss the opportunities, the challenges, and the security of the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things holds great potential, everyone agrees about that. In 2020, 50 billion networked things should be on the market. But what sounds complicated to many people has only one goal. This is all about how we make all of our lives easier, how we make the uh, things that we do, whether it's having your wallet on your phone, whether it's factory automation, whether it's driving, where you have vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communications that makes it much uh, safer. So in many ways, it's just about being smarter. From this, new business segments develop in many application areas. Indeed, challenges for the future are energy efficiency and scalability of the devices. And the key players of the industry are concerned about another question. How do you ensure security? Data security, um, security of your network, you know, and so forth. Security is a huge thing because we're talking about 50 billion devices being connected. That's 50 billion different entry points for someone to steal something from you. To cope with these challenges, new directions need to be taken in the future. We have to think in solution, not in semiconductor devices only. Semiconductor are an enabler to generate these solutions, to enable those. IT security is a big challenge and is required to make it real, to make it possible. The Internet of Things is no longer a dream of the future. However, to realize it, commitment to research, industry and consumers is required. Embedded systems now deliver a wide range of indispensable services, and these can be seen all over the place at this year's Electronica. And now I'm going to play. Texas Instruments is showcasing a variety of innovations from the semiconductor sector at its booth, from smart grid to connectivity. One of the highlights arises from the field of inductive sensing and is used for industrial switches. So here we've got a solid sheet of aluminum that you can see we've got some patterns on them that indicate buttons. Underneath the solid sheet of aluminum, we've milled out a little cavity, we have a coil there, and we're actually detecting the metal bending, which means I don't have any holes in the metal, it's a solid sheet, 
Higher reliable, this, this type of button will last for many years in an industrial environment, very harsh. It doesn't matter if you've got gloves on. So you can see I'm pushing very slightly. With this button, with about a one kilogram force, I'm getting about a five to 10 micron deflection. Rafi is one of the leading suppliers of capacitive touch input systems for industrial applications. Recently, the company started producing glass sensors for their touch screens themselves. As opposed to foil sensors, the glass sensors have a higher surface resistivity and a greater temperature tolerance. The manufacture of touch screens in Germany enhances the quality and at the same time reduces the dependence on Asian suppliers. Time of flight sensor technology is a focal point for ST microelectronics. The new time of flight concept is that we have a laser which is emitting photons and we can uh, measure the traveling time of photons and by this we can do a very precise distance measurement. The sensor is used in smartphones among other things. Here it measures the distance between phone and ear or allows a particularly fast autofocus adjustment with the integrated camera. Embedded systems are keeping our modern automobiles running, and this has been a central theme at Electronica 2014. It will also be the topic tomorrow of our automotive edition on ETV. See you then.